What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to remove your glow plugs on your diesel engine without snapping them. So there's a huge misconception on the internet that if you try to remove your glow plugs that you'll end up snapping them and you'll have to remove your cylinder head and extract them out that way. I'm going to show you today how to remove them properly without snapping them and uh, yeah, it's actually fairly easy to do. Now, right in front of me, I have the BMW N47 engine, which is the two liter diesel engine from BMW. Now you'll see it's not complete. That's actually because I went ahead and removed the intake manifold. You don't actually have to remove the intake manifold, but you do have a lot better access. I'll just quickly show you where the glow plugs are located on this engine. So you have one there, one there, one there, and one there. And these plugs basically just lift up. That one's a bit stuck. There you go. There you are. As you can see, the glow plugs themselves just sit down there. Now, first things first, what you ideally want to do is leave these to soak in WD-40 for a couple of days. Uh, I'd recommend spraying them when the engine is warm with WD-40 and then also uh, a couple of days after, um, you know, when you plan to do the job as well. But I I've actually done that, but I will go ahead and um, give them another spray as well before I actually go to remove them. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll do that and uh, then we'll get on to removing them themselves. I just wanted to point out as well that the glow plugs on your engine are not always located in the same position. Obviously one glow plug has to occupy one cylinder but it can sometimes be on the intake side like it is on this engine but it can also be on the exhaust side as well so it is worth checking and uh, basically what you're looking for is these plugs which just sit over the top of the glow plugs and um, once you find these obviously it's pretty self-explanatory but like i said i have went ahead and sprayed these glow plugs with wd-40 again just to kind of uh, make sure they're nice and lubricated and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and fit the uh, socket and ratchet on these and we'll uh, we'll try and give them a, a loosen now then, for these glow plugs in particular, they are 10 millimeter. So I have a 10 millimeter socket. Now, ideally, you want to have an extended socket to get right down in the glow plug uh, well, just down there. Um, but what I have is a uh, 3 8 inch uh, socket with a modified uh, extension. Basically, there's a hole drilled through, so the uh, the um, glow plug itself can just go up right in there. So if I push that on now, you see that locks on. And now what I'm gonna go do is put the ratchet on. Now, I'm not just gonna try and crack it loose straight away. I'm gonna take my time. And if I notice any sudden jerk, then I'm gonna stop. Nice and smooth. You have to remember that these glow plugs have been in for, well, these are more than likely the originals and the engine has covered 120,000 miles. So they'll be pretty stuck in with crud and whatever else. But yeah, trick is just don't rush, take your time. But yeah, I think I've kind of half loosened that one. I think what I'm gonna do is leave that one to sit and then start and loosen in the, the rest. And, um, and then I might actually spray some more WD-40 down there as well. 
so yeah i think what i'll do is leave that one start and tighten in the rest and uh and then yeah spray some more wd-40 down that one it's quite tight Okay then, okay then, so that is one glow plug removed. And that's the first one we started from cylinder one. I see the cylinder one or cylinder four, I'm guessing it's cylinder one because it's at the front. But yeah, that's one removed, three to go. There's two. and there's four okay then so with all four glow plugs removed I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you what the original glow plugs look like after they have covered hundred and twenty thousand miles now bear in mind I have cleaned them up a bit they was covered in a lot more oil and soot but the most concerning thing for me is the state of some of these threads so as you, as you see on this one in particular the threads are almost flat you know compare it with that one like there's a massive difference and i'm pretty sure that's one of the main reasons why a few of these are very difficult to get out there was very very tight a few of these a um, couple of them weren't too bad but i think the other two were very very tight and on this one in particular you can see that one of the threads is actually misshaped i'm not too sure how well you can see that but yeah it's kind of taken a chunk out of it so i don't know if that's because a chunk of carbon has got dislodged and you know made it go out of shape or if the heat of the glow plug has uh, made that bend or what I don't know I'm not too sure what's what's made that bend like that but obviously that's another reason why it did not want to come out as easy as it should have but yeah there is a good chance that these are the original glow plugs and I would recommend replacing them long before they get to this state. I'd recommend replacing your glow plugs anywhere from 60 to 70,000 miles and in doing so you are going to ensure that when you have to remove them and replace them that you are not going to get any stuck in your cylinder head. Okay then so this is the originals. I will show you a brand new one a nice shiny brand new one as you can see they are pretty much identical they do have the exact same part numbers they both are Bosch the original is Bosch the new one is Bosch this is what the uh, the box looks like and uh, yeah genuine uh, Bosch glow plugs I would recommend using Bosch or Peru glow plugs um, not too much difference but overall I prefer Bosch always go with Bosch and uh, yeah I will be installing these uh, the new ones not yet though however because obviously I'm taking the engine out so it doesn't really make sense to fit new glow plugs before taking the engine out when I'm going to only have to remove them anyway so I can uh, crank the engine around manually I don't want to have any compression in the way with you know with glow plugs still being in place so yeah I'm not going to be fitting these yet but a quick little tip if you are going to be fitting your own glow plugs then please 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 do not over torque these it's the main reason why glow plugs get snapped in the head is because they're over torqued or they're not torqued correctly and uh yeah you know think about it it's only a thin glow plug it's not like a spark plug which is a lot beefier you know these are very very thin and the threads are very very small on them so they don't have to be torqued up a very small amount i'd be surprised if these have to be torqued up anywhere 
you know any anything above 20 newton meters which you know is not a lot of torque um, but obviously find out the correct uh, torque specification for your engine and uh, make sure you just follow that uh, another quick little tip when you are replacing your glow plugs is I would recommend putting some uh, anti-seize on the threads and that will mean that the next time you have to remove them they'll obviously come out a lot easier okay then so that is how to remove the glow plugs on your diesel engine without snapping them and another job done on the bmw if you have enjoyed this video please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't already done so and i'll see you guys in that next video peace